So they've been running the trams again on both sides here. Here on the main loop and back there at the other loop over there. Here at Epcot. I hardly ever ride those trams, but they're running them on both sides now. How about that. Let's go green. So Journey of Water right now is considered a special experience until the 16th. Right now, you have to get yourself a virtual queue. Uh, I'm assuming it will probably still be like that even after, after it uh, goes through the soft opening. So as I said, it's on the virtual queue until the, I'm sure they'll probably still have the virtual queue even after the 16th, I'm guessing, but um, it's on there uh, as a soft opening. So unfortunately, I've already been in there once. It's fun, you guys, Journey of Water, coming soon. Disney 100 at Epcot, let's go. All right, it's a little bit busy on this Friday night. Not terrible, but a little bit busy, um, especially with the journey of water, Moana, kicking. And uh, of course, the California Soren. You know, it's keeping this place pretty busy. So I'm gonna look for the quick instant fix here on test track, ride the single rider line and, and uh, get a quick, quick lap in here. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's go get a quick one on test track. See how the single rider line is. It's got a 50 minute wait time right now. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what the single rider line is. I just checked my time right now. Well, that took officially nine minutes. Yeah, so it took nine minutes to get here from the single rider line. That's pretty good. room but man nice little view of the Corvette here nice that looks like it's not comfortable for me <laughs> that's cool they don't build rides like that for me, man. That's for a small guy, man. I'll tell you that much. A small guy that has a lot of money. <laughs> so of course, if you're in the market for a vehicle, you can check out all your Chevy products here. You, you want something a little bigger, of course you can go high country, four by. Suburban, the Utah assault vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> what are they looking at for this thing? They don't even, oh yeah, 80 grand, 81,000. Eh, something that probably fits me a little better. Super Sport. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little more room in there. Not much though. Almost 50 grand for a Colorado, my goodness. Better have yourself a good job if you want to buy a new vehicle nowadays. My goodness. So, so much money. Mission Space. Hey, sometimes you just want to get on some rides and not have to wait too long. And a five minute wait, let's do it, right? Engineer, just a reminder. You will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. Got the lights kicking over here. Let's see. Hey, 
Let's go. <laughs> Give us the go. Looks like the space race is not open right now. So there's some different things you can do. You gotta be the space guy, get out. Yeah, so there's different things, different activities you can do here. Cool little space stuff hanging out. So I just hit the Connections Cafe. To get my Oswald. Got my Oswald on nice. Yeah, I just grabbed it here in the Connections Cafe. Pretty cool. Cool, so the Oswald, that was Disney's original rabbit, and they lost it to Universal. Of all places, right? The irony, right? Back in 1927. And then of course when they lost it, Walt Disney lost that right. To Oswald, of course, it uh, encouraged him to create his own character that he would have full power over. And so the birth of, of, Diz, of Mickey Mouse, right? And now they've bought it back and they own the rights to Oswald. I, I don't know, I think earlier 2000 they did that. So anyways, it's kind of cool. He's been kind of a hit lately, especially with the 100 year anniversary going. Oswald is quite the rage right now. So that is a cool magnet for sure. So you guys, Journey of Water is great at night. You can see all the lighting in here. When I went the first time, it was dusk. So it was a little bit dark, but you can just see the water lighting up, man. And uh, nighttime is a place to go for sure. So that's cool. No virtual queue now. It's about 8.30 on a Friday night and I'm getting in. I'm not going to get wet like I did the first time around, but it should be fun. I want to see all the lights and the color here. It should be great. One is Journey of Water. Nice. Mist. So neat. Oh, this is cool. This wasn't doing this last time when I came through here. We got a little creek right over the path. Neat. She's loving it. <laughs> this wasn't working last time I was here either. Nice. through here again. I can do this because I know that it'll clear the path for me if I just stop. Hey, let's go. The Fiji. Yeah. This is the area where everything gets really wet over here. This whole area over here. You can see the kids going nuts over there. Water in the ground. Yeah, see so you got water popping up out of the ground. And then you got water spraying across the sky over here and over there. Nice. So you raise your arms up here, you get this water busting, it's cool. Hey, she just made it go. <laughs> It's really pretty in here, man. 
So massive. So cool. The monorail. And Spaceship Earth. That was unexpected to be able to go through Moana's Journey of Water. Uh, you know, they have the virtual queue going and um, it's not open until the 16th unless you're an annual pass holder. But on the soft opening, if you get in there like that, I think you just walk in. How about that? So no promises, but you might be able to get it if you wait till the evening. And my goodness, that's when the lights are so cool. So what a special treat. Thanks for joining me. What a fantastic night here at Epcot.